So I, it sounds like this ties into your recent, um, if I get this right, recommitment to going above and beyond to getting to know and appreciate your team. Yeah. I realized, and this is coming back, COVID had something to do with this because we were forced to be remote. We had an opportunity a few years back to close our office and go remote. And most of the team didn't like coming to an office anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I've refused to see that. Oh, come on, come to the office. It turns out that of the people coming to the office, 90% of them had managers who didn't live in Chicago. So we were asking people to come to an office three days a week and their bosses weren't there. Now, so their coworkers were there, but it just stopped making sense. And we didn't see it for what it was at the time. Well, we want to be in the office. And I also realized, and this is, of course, hindsight. You say that life, life teaches you these things, that when we all went remote, how much I took for granted the remote folks. So we had happy hours in the office. Um, we tried to include remote folks at times. We bring them to Chicago once or twice a year, but it, it's not the same. So when I came back, I recommitted to doing the things I said I was going to do previously. I have a one-on-one -on -one with everybody in the company once a month, and I just block 20 minutes on the calendar. And we can talk shop if you want to talk shop, but it's about getting to know each other. It's, it's, it's water cooler talk. It's how are the kids? How's football? How's baseball? Oh my gosh, you did karaoke? Your mom moved you onto the karaoke circuit when you were 12? What is this? You know, these things you learn about people and, and who, you know their musical tastes, um, what they're doing this weekend, things like that. Um, those are the, those are the really cool things. And I believe that relationships build great businesses, whether it's with employees or with clients. And I was missing out on that. And in fact, we just had everybody in town a couple of weeks back and two of the ladies came up to me and said, Hey, Steve, you haven't made our last couple of one-on-ones. I look forward to those. Can you make sure we make the next one? And it would, Again, it was a shift. It was a mind shift. I said, thank you for the feedback and thank you for letting me know. And I went and, because they all drifted apart on my calendar because of different things. I squished all the one-on-ones into a couple of days and they're next week. And I'm so looking forward to those. 